Hi everybody, how are you doing? Today we're going to be making the modified Tao Tao Falls paracord bracelet. It's quite chunky. Um, I got this from the live paracord book part one from Cetus 550. And yeah, I'll stop waffling and show you how to do it. Right, so I've got three cords, black, green and red each cord is about seven and a half feet long just to be on the safe side and the setup is a little bit different to how we normally do so the top we've got a normal cow's hitch but the bottom it's a bit hard to see because it's black Cord, but there you go goes down and I, I, I just wrapped it around the buckle pulled it tight like that that's what he does in the pictures then all we're gonna do then all we're gonna do is go down through the top try not to get it tangled like that and do a half hitch so the cord goes over the top of itself and through like that it's a what I normally call a locking knot like that and you do it on the other side now what I'm going to do is with the red cord I'm gonna poke it all the way through so it goes through all three holes it goes through the lock knot the cow's hitch and on the other side like that and I'm gonna find the halfway point okay and the green one is just poke it through the middle through the cow's hitch like that and then find the halfway point of that one as well right and we do exactly the same again so the black cords cross each other underneath the four centre cords like that right hand green goes down in between like that up and out of the left hand loop and what I've just found that if you hold the crossover on the black cords underneath thumb and forefinger it's easier to pull the cord through like that without getting in a tangle like that see we do it again with the red the red cord goes on the outside of this black one and it just goes up through that left hand loop And that's what you want like that okay exactly the same as before goes in between these two black cords there down up through the right hand loop like that take any twists out that there are and your right hand red your left hand red goes on the outside underneath like that and through that right hand loop like that and then just slowly and carefully pull it together pull the black 
record that. And what you want to do is make sure that your red and green cords, your red cord is on the outside of your green like that. Right, I've got to tell you, this is quite hard to get consistent. And uh, I'll show you what I've been doing to make it easier. So the green cord in between, up out the other side. Pull those cords, put it up quite close. Like that. Red cord, really easy. Just goes down the outside, out there. Make sure that your red cord is sitting on the outside of your green. Do exactly the same on the other side. It, I've struggled with this. I think this is one of the, not hardest, but one of the toughest ones to do and get it consistent. I think I've got the knack now. So the red cord goes out the out, outside of this black one here. Right, here we go. So what I'm doing, what I'm doing, is first of all, put in the red and green, all the red and green cords together and kind of just squidge them into shape where you want them to be. Put on the black a bit. But basically, all I'm doing is that I'm kind of just moulding them into place. Then pull the black cords. Don't pull too hard on your green and red cords. You want to pull on the black, keep the tension on the black, and kind of mould the green and red in place. Right, I've got to the end, and what I'm going to do, hopefully you can see that, I'm just going to snip, it all comes out the same place. So I'm just going to snip and singe and try and melt them all into one place on that side. On this side, the black comes out in a separate hole. But I'm just going to snip and singe the whole lot and I'll get back to you. Right, just doing the last two. Go quite close, but leave enough to burn. Like that. And I'm going to get my lighter. See, you got the ends there. I'm just going to slow burn on the blue part of the flame. Just slowly melt it. Like that. Be tall. Press it all in. Oh dear, that's all right. And there you go. Right, so that's your Tao Tao Falls modified paracord bracelet from the live paracord book, part one, from Cetus 550. Came out not too bad for a first try. The hardest part is trying to keep these consistent. As soon as you pull on the black cord, the red and green kind of slack. So you've got to, it's just playing with it and working out how to do it. But yeah, not too bad for the first time. It's a really chunky bracelet. So I would add an inch, but yeah, not bad at all. So as always, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one.